Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am so excited about being a part of this collab. This is my top five things I love at Aldi, my top five Aldi favorites. Um, this collab was started by Kelly from Freedom in a Budget. I love her, I love her channel. So awesome to see her saving money and showing tips as as well as showing the weight loss and all of that. I just love her channel. I love everything about it. So thank you, Kelly, for including me in this collab. I will link everyone down below that's part of it so we can all maybe find some new Aldi products to try. I love saving money at Aldi. I go there every single week. I have found quite a few things <laughs> that I love, and so this might be a little bit challenging narrowing it down. I actually have more like five categories of stuff that I love at Aldi. So let's get started. If you have have not checked out Aldi, you need to check out Aldi. You can save so much money and amazing products. So where do I want to start? The first thing I'm going to start with is more of a category. <laughs> so I'm going to start with staples, things like uh, Rotel, which is uh, a name brand, but this is the exact same thing. The uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies, so much cheaper at Aldi, as well as like things like tomato sauce. I'm um, also talking about things like flour, sugar, milk, butter, um, chocolate chips, anything like that. I have found no difference with Aldi brands, uh, stuff versus name brand. You can save so much money. Buy your staples, buy your canned goods, buy, um, the things that you just keep on hand, pasta, that kind of stuff. Buy it from Aldi. These are two of my favorites. I always have them in the pantry. This guy is only 25 cents for eight ounces. This is about 50 cents. I want to say it's like 49 at my Aldi, which is half off of a, the cost of Rotel. So definitely buy your staples. Second item is a Nate item. <laughs> so Nate is picky, you guys, which I'm going to do an honorable mention uh, for Nate here. First of all, I don't have them listed, but honorable mention, the Aldi cereal bars. <laughs> um, Nate is picky about cereal bars. He does not like the Walmart brand. Um, he doesn't like the Kroger brand. He likes the Nutri-Grain brand and he likes the Aldi brand. It's the only knockoff that he will eat because the other ones are like really dry, but he loves the cereal bars. Um, so that's an honorable mention. I don't have them listed as one of my main things, but I wanted to say that shout out to those because those things save me over half off for, from the name brand. This I did want to mention as one of my favorites because Nate is picky and um, I feel like this gets so much nutrition into him. This is the Simply Nature Organic Vanilla Whole Milk Yogurt. So um, for a growing boy, he needs the whole milk. For a cup, it's 200 calories. He never has a cup. He usually has a fourth of a cup to a half a cup at a time. Um, if you try to buy organic whole milk yogurt. This at the store is like $5. At Aldi, it's $1.99. Um, Nate loves this. It's his favorite yogurt. I feel good about it because it's organic, because it's whole milk. Um, it has it has a lot of protein. It has uh, eight grams of protein. It's just delicious. They also have a plain one, but we like the vanilla. So if you have kids, maybe try the whole milk. It holds him over way more than the light stuff. Okay. One of my favorites, now we're on favorite number three, the ciabatta rolls. <laughs> These are so good, you guys. Um, now, other stores have them, but they're more expensive. And this is the only ones that I found that come sliced. So they come sliced down the middle, which just makes my life easier. These things are delicious. What we do with them is we put, we make sandwiches, little sandwiches. I can't remember how much these are. I want to say they're two to three dollars, but they come with six of them. Uh, obviously we've eaten some. <laughs> I don't know why the camera's gone blurry. Uh, we've eaten some and when they start to, uh, if we don't eat them fast enough, I just stick them in the freezer and they're fine. These are so, so delicious. It makes your sandwich like a step up. And you know what? We went to a popular sandwich place the other day and just for David and I to get a sandwich, it was $20. Like it, it was ridiculous. And I was thinking the whole time we were eating it, this is good. But the sandwiches we make at home with the Aldi ciabatta rolls, um, they are even better. And they're so much cheaper. So, sorry about my phone beeping. So, 
yeah, definitely check out their rolls. I also, second honorable mention of the day, I also love the brioche buns. Oh my gosh, if you're gonna make a hamburger or like a fish sandwich or a chicken sandwich, something warm, I really like the brioche buns. So delicious. I've also made like um, melts with these, like do like a, um, like a, like put like a piece of meat, like grilled chicken and then put cheese and like grill it. So delicious, the fancy little sandwich. Okay, that's number three. Number four. Man, I might have more than, okay, number four. It's not specifically these chips, but I wanna name some of my favorite chips. These are some ones I really enjoyed. I like their blue corn tortilla chips. Normally we just buy the regular ones, but they had the little dippers this time. These are so good. They're like $1.99, they're delicious. Also, I don't have it, I guess we threw it away, but the baked chips, those are dangerous to me. I don't buy them very much because they're so good. The Southwest Ranch, it's like my favorite chip in the whole world. Um, followed closely by their tortilla chips. I also really like their corn chips better than Fritos. Uh, now, I don't love every chip at Aldi. You definitely have to find find the hits and among some of them, are, I'm not, they're not my favorite. But those and the baked chips, so good. So we've done four. I'm going to have six. I just have a feeling. Um, or more. <laughs> it's only supposed to be five, Jess. Um, okay. For quick dinners, you guys, they're Chinese food. Um, normally we buy the General Sao So's chicken. I never can say that. This time we bought the mandarin orange. They're both equally delicious. They also have several other ones I haven't tried. Like they have a sweet and sour and they have a tempura chicken or something. I cannot get over how good these are. They taste like, they taste like you went to a Chinese restaurant. I am not exaggerating. They're $5. They feed me and David plus enough for him to take to lunch the next day. Uh, it says there's five servings. Those are very small servings. <laughs> um, but these are so good. I am not kidding. I put these in the air fryer and then just warm up the sauce. You could also do it in the oven. Our favorite. Okay, so that's technically five. I have two honorable mentions. This is a Lucy favorite, pepperoni. Pepperoni is so expensive in the stores. I mean, four to five dollars. Uh, we really like the turkey pepperoni. However, I'm out of that. I had bought this because she went. She went. It's going through a phase where she likes regular pepperoni right now because uh, I don't know. But my favorite is the turkey pepperoni. But this is also equally delicious. The Aldi Mama Kazi pepperoni. I did want to mention because I have gotten questions. This is not kept in the refrigerated meat like turkey and all that aisle. It's not. It is on the shelf with the pastas and the pasta sauce and the pizza. Um, crust. That's where this is. This is so affordable. Two dollars and some change, I want to say, at my Aldi. Delicious, and there is a lot of pepperoni in here. Like I said, my favorite is the turkey pepperoni, but if you don't want that, this is equally as delicious. One more honorable mention, <laughs> because I can't help myself. This was a new find, and I can't find it since at my Aldi. So if you see this, grab it. This is the uh, tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. It's the one with the purple lid. I also really like their, um, I guess this technically goes in with the staples, you know, with the cans. Um, this is delicious. The traditional one's good. They also have like a meat sauce. I haven't tried that one, but this is my favorite. It's hard to find at my Aldi. They had it one day because I've seen people haul this and I'm like, my Aldi doesn't have that. Um, and then I saw it and I got one to try. And then when I went back, they were gone. <laughs> so if you see it, get them to try. These are 99 cents and they are delicious. They are delicious. They don't have a lot of, I also want to say all these products, most of them don't have a lot of ingredients. Like this doesn't have any kind of chemicals. It's all just like tomato, Diced tomatoes, sugar, salt, dried onion, dry garlic, basil, spices, and citric acid. That's it. You know, there's not like a bunch of other stuff and in ingredients. So I love their tomato sauce, specifically the tomato, basil, and garlic. That is just a few of my favorite things at Aldi, a few of our staples. Aldi has saved our family so much money. I'm passionate about sharing the news of the fact that their products are so good. If you are new to my channel and you're just stumbling across, we have three videos comparing Aldi products to name brand products and they compare 
almost exactly the same. Sometimes all the evening comes up ahead. Definitely go check out those videos because it has opened my mind to the fact of all these quality. Um, just unbelievable. So definitely go check out those videos. I will try my best to link them down below. But definitely before you do that, go check out everybody else in the collab. Get some ideas on some of their favorite videos. I can't wait to watch because I always love trying new things at Aldi. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I'm walking down the street just like I own it. I'm rolling to the beach just like I wrote it. Watching the sun go down.